Hello everyone, this is my new YouTube studio space, kinda day one, moving everything into the room, and this is what it looks like right now. The first thing I did was build some heavy duty shelving units inside the closet. These will not only act as storage for all of my video gear, but it will also be a place where I can set my NAS Synology units. These allow me to work off a massive hard drive that's in a separate room, eliminating noise and clutter from the space I record videos. They also connect to the internet, so I'll have access from anywhere. Here's a space with basically nothing in it, no acoustic treatment, just have my two desks in here, and obviously I haven't done any remodeling to this studio as of yet. The next day, I thought it'd be cool to try and make a little transition. <laughs> and that's what I came up with. So obviously I painted the wall black. <laughs> and I was gonna, I was gonna, wait, let me pause here. I was going to transition to what the room looks like current day here, but I just thought me planking on the wall was <laughs> too hilarious. So I do like the black paint, but I want to add some texture and acoustic treatment to the back wall, and I'll achieve this with wood paneling. at Home Depot for your outlets. So I'll have this extension so the outlet sits flush and these two screws will go into here and then the plate will go on top. But now I got to somehow measure this and cut it exactly on without messing it up. Wish me luck. Not the most beautiful of holes, but once we put the thing over, it should look much better, hopefully. This one's a little loose, and it says to use super glue. All right, everybody, got it to go in. It's like one of the coolest things I've done. Chaos, 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 chaos. Nobody is the wiser. Look, I can just get rid of that little marking up there. Clean outlet. Mm, did it. Let's go. Feels super awesome to get this much done. I thought I would keep it at this, but after putting it up here, I wanted to order four more, just cause I think it looks so cool. I mean, Look at that. Very productive day in this studio build. So I'm not sure what day renovation this is with the studio. I got the rest in the mail. Before putting them up, I was thinking to myself, if I wanna get Cat6 cable from my computer station, wherever it is, to the closet right here, I'm going to need to run it somehow. And in order to do that, I think I'm gonna run it behind these uh, wood veneer panels. A couple things I've learned since working with these panels so much is if you don't own a miter saw, it's actually pretty cheap to rent a good one from the hardware store. After cutting the first panel, I would use the leftover scrap as a guide to quickly give me a measurement on the rest of the panels. 
This Dremel tool really helped with cutting out those notches as well as a sharp knife on those felt backing of the wood panels. And number one overall was buying a staple gun to work with the loose wood ends instead of using super glue. It was so much easier. So I ran the spool of Cat6 cable I had behind the panels. And unfortunately, when my electrician showed up to add the end connectors, I found out I bought the wrong type of connectors for the crimper he had. Here's an update to my whole situation with the Cat6 cable. I went out and got the actual crimping tool that goes with the type of connectors that I bought. So I, I had these connectors, but it was a just a normal crimping tool and the ends of these weren't perfect. I'm getting an orange blinking light right here, which means that it's, it's really slow and I'm supposed to be getting green the connections aren't good. So I thought, hey, why don't I just learn how to crimp my own Cat6 cables? So I redid one end and this cable wasn't even getting any signal before. And now we have an orange light. So that's super promising. Let's go over and do the other side and hopefully we can get this to turn green. So this will be the first test. Wires through, looking at the bottom, goes brown. Brown striped, green, blue striped, blue, green striped, orange, orange striped. So I'm gonna stick it in here so it looks like on the other side, crimp. Here's the finished product, plug it in. So here's the moment of truth. This is the one that I just crimped. I have the one crimped on the other side. And when I plug this in, it should hopefully turn green. And if it turns green, we have a good signal. Let's see. Please, 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 please. Yeah. Let's go. Behind here on my Synology drive, this is the normal ethernet, and then this is the 10 gig back here. Put one of these for the internet to reach my NAS, and then the other one, I need to plug directly into my Thunderbolt converter. So this takes the 10 gig, and I can plug that directly into my computer right here and get 10 gig speeds transfer to my NAS. So now the hard drive that I'd be working off of won't be anywhere here, it'll actually be all the way over there in a closed door. We're off to the races. Here's my studio that I've been working on for almost a year now. I just wanted to take you behind the scenes and show you all of the things that I've been doing in here to make this the best possible place for me to create content. The first thing I wanna show you is this right here. These are all made of felt. It's from feltright.com, I think is the name of the website. But all of these pieces are individual pieces that you put up on the wall and they have all kinds of designs. I'll have a link to them in the description. I put this in here for acoustic reasons. So when I'm talking, my voice hits this wall first and because of that, this helps dampen some of the acoustics of the room. Another aspect of this wall is when we had it built, we had insulation put on this wall. So when you close this door, it actually does help soundproof this room. Any guests that we have that stay in here make a comment about how they can't hear the rest of the house. And part of that is because of the insulation that we put in the walls. And then obviously I've put some other acoustic things in here. Speaking of that, let's move on over to this wall. This is from woodveneerhub.com. And these things, I am so obsessed with them now because I've ended up putting them in two separate homes besides my own. I put them in my brother's house and now I have uh, other people contacting me asking about these. And one thing I will say is they're a little bit more on the expensive side. You can get this kind of wood, put it up yourself. It, it's totally possible and you can do it cheaper. I like the convenience, plus their customer service has been amazing. I can't, can't speak more highly of Wood Veneer Hub's customer service. If you wanna check them out, I'll have a link to them in the description. Now this wall in particular acts as not only an acoustic 
dampening thing in this room, but it also hides my Cat6 cable that is going from my computer over there to my storage closet right here. And I'm actually, I can show you this. Uh, these acoustic bass traps are from Oralex. I'll link those, I've had these for a while. In fact, here's a little break of how it sounds before and after when I had them in my last room. So this room I had acoustically treated with bass traps and what you're listening to right now is the room still with the bass traps in it. And here's how the room sounds without the bass traps in it. Can you hear a difference? Okay, we're back. Um, <laughs> behind here, you'll see those cables. And that goes into my system back there. Acts as an acoustic treatment and a whole networking device thing is going on. For those that are curious, this is what I ended up with in my closet and what I was building. Right here is the drive that I'm working off of. There's the network wires that are coming from my router out over there behind that wood veneer panel wall. These are the hard drives that I work off of. That is always backing up to this one. So if a hard drive goes down on here, it's also backed up on the device. If this thing fails, the whole thing is backed up on this, which they're always talking to each other. I can access them 24 seven anywhere in the world. It's an awesome setup. Glad I got it to work. I have two spots where I basically create videos from. The first one is right here where I'm presenting. That chair over there would be right here. And I'm in front of the camera like this with the microphone right there. And the second spot would be over here where my computer is and I'm doing Premiere Pro tutorials and things of that nature. I have the camera right here. This is normally the a7S III. Right now, it's a different camera because I'm using the a7S III right there. One thing that I am a big <laughs> proponent of using is these little gadgets right here. This is the Dincom System Action Pod Pro. This guy is amazing because you can do things like this. You just plop it in and it works. I could probably think of a hundred different uses that I've used this piece of gear just to help me on productions. This is one of them, makes everything super simple. Light that I use with the light dome is the Aperture 120D Mark II. If you invest in a solid light, it could last you your entire career, which I believe this one will. This one was fun to do. I put a pegboard up and it's so nice to have a place where you can have all of your little tools and trinkets to grab quickly. This whole thing, took it down, put it back up, took it down, put it back up, because I uh, was like, man, it would look cool if I put LEDs behind here. I can change the colors of it if I want to. Eventually, what will happen is when I have the accent LEDs on my accent wall over here, I'll hit that and then it will all, it'll all change to those colors. Over here, I have Premiere Gal's keyboard. It has all of the shortcuts for Premiere Pro right on the keyboard. I did a whole video, done several videos showcasing a lot of those shortcuts. I'll link them, I'll link this uh, keyboard. It is super cool. I'll put the specs for my MacBook Pro on the screen. I have the studio display. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, everything is linked in the description. Hopefully you can find what you're looking for or is, this has given you some ideas for your own setup. Until next time, my name's Javier Mercedes and I hope you're out there living a life of abundance.